While most Arkansans are staying indoors trying to enjoy the snow, a few are still hard at work even in the winter weather. Our Katrin Asaf visited two businesses that had staff members preparing to stay the night. She joined us live outside with how they're braving the storm. Katrin. Well, Kevin, Donna, like you just said, with most of these temperatures, people might want to stay indoors, but there are still people working to fill Little Rock's donut quota and working to make sure the city's animals are properly protected tonight. Here's what they were up to earlier today. With central Arkansas now a winter wonderland, Wednesday was a snow day for most of Little Rock. Today we're out here sledding in the, in the snow. It's pouring right now. While humans and animals alike were able to frolic in the flurries, Even fun. their caretakers had a different experience. Trying to get from point A to point B is just absolutely exhausting. Karen Casters and Nicole Darland are both animal keepers at the Little Rock Zoo. Although it was closed today, staff are hunkering down and staying the night, on call 24-7 for their animals. We've just kind of commandeered a lot of the offices here in the admin building, and uh, we're just kind of having a big slumber party here. They spent the day clearing ice and getting creative with traveling in heavy snow. I've been loading all my things into a kitty swimming pool and just kind of pulling it around mm -hmm. behind me. But they're not the only Arkansans working the night shift, from tigers to treats. The staff at the 24-7 Hertz Donut are also staying past dark. And told them if, if they wanted to stay, that we put them up in a hotel and take care of the food and all that. Even in snow, Hertz is serving up sweet treats for locals willing to brave the snow. Cinnamon rolls are amazing, and, and everybody loves kolaches. And say they've seen the demand for donuts go up in chilly weather. People have gotten out and come into the restaurant, spent a little time drinking coffee. Now both teams are watching the weather and getting ready to hit the hay and hoping Snowmageddon moves on by tomorrow. Now remember, although there are places that are still open and operational, the roads are basically a no-go at this point. So if you are going to go for a midnight snack, you might want to do so only if you're very close by and you think it's safe to walk. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Katrin Asav. Back to you. <laughs>